Dinah, the daughter of Jacob and Leah, is raped by Shechem, a Canaanite ruler, according to Genesis 34. Shechem and his father Hammer offer to pay a bride price and intermarry with Jacob's family in an effort to atone for the event. However, the assault on their sister and the suggested intermarriage have Jacob's sons furious. By deceiving Shechem and his people into having circumcisions, they plan to exact retribution before invading and killing them while they are still vulnerable from the procedure. Jacob disapproves, but his sons carry out the retribution plan, killing the Shechem men, pillaging the city, and kidnapping the women and children. They depart for a different area since Jacob is concerned about the results of their activities. Genesis 34 is a dramatic tale of rape and retaliation with overarching themes of intermarriage, justice, and the effects of bloodshed. Additionally, it depicts the complicated interactions between many tribes and nations as well as the conflicts that can occur when cultures collide. What's the main point? Genesis 34's main theme is the tale of Jacob's daughter Dinah's rape and the brother's subsequent retaliation, Simeon and Levi. What can we learn from this chapter? The story of Genesis 34 offers several takeaways. Dinah was a victim of sexual assault, and her brothers felt obligated to stand up for her and fight for justice. This illustrates the value of protecting the weak. It's crucial to defend the weak and confront injustice, especially when it comes to issues of sexual abuse and exploitation. The dangers of pride and vengeance, Simeon and Levi's actions in avenging their sister's assault resulted in bloodshed and endangered their family. This serves as a reminder of the perils of letting rage and conceit dictate our course of action and the significance of pursuing justice peacefully. The importance of keeping one's word, despite having promised the people of Shechem intermarriage, Jacob's sons used deception to wreak revenge on them. This serves as a reminder of the risks involved in making commitments we don't plan to keep as well as the value of keeping our word. Reconciliation is crucial because the violence in Shechem had an impact on Jacob and his family for a very long time. This emphasizes the need of pursuing peace and healing after a dispute, as well as the significance of refraining from behaviors that can result in more injury or violence. Let us pray. Dear God, as we read the story of Genesis 34, we are reminded of the dangers of pride and revenge, and the importance of seeking justice and protecting the vulnerable. We ask for your wisdom and guidance as we navigate the complexities of our own lives, and we pray that you help us to be instruments of your love, grace, and mercy in all our interactions with others. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. For daily inspiration on God's Word, please like and follow our Facebook page and YouTube channel. The links are in the description. Please also visit www.wisdombegun.com Genesis for more thought-provoking discussions on the book of Genesis plus free downloads and presentations about the Genesis story, ideal for use at Bible study groups or Sunday school lessons. Please support our channel by liking this video and subscribing. Thanks. Wisdom Begun God's Words Delivered Daily